Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with a new video on our channel. In today's session, I will show you that how you can do the live streaming with your ESP32 cam in our today's session. So that's all that we will be doing in today's session and also we can see that how you can do the face detection plus the face recognition with that ESP32 cam. So that's all that we will be doing in today's session. Now let's not waste time and let's straightforward go to the project. So let's get started. All right. So you can see this is ESP32 cam, which is having onboard ESP32 module inbuilt in that. And also you have onboard camera on it, which is of two megapixel. So this is what we have. And with that on the back side, if you will check that you have a slot where you can insert the SD card and the storage capacity for this is maximum 4 GB. So we can insert the data up to 4 GB of space and accordingly there are some other features as well. We have other specifications as well and that we will discuss right now. So this is all about it and also about the camera if I will say this is a place where you have to insert it. Now you have to open it and in that you have to insert it right. So let me just insert it and let me show you. All right, so you can see in this way, we will be inserting it back inside and this is how we have the camera in there, right? So this is all about it. And now let's do one thing. Let's go to the specification and let's understand what all we have in ESP32 and what are the other features for that. So let's see that now. All right. So here you can see this is a list of all the specification for ESP32. So in ESP32 like uh, we have the inbuilt ESP32 on that and also it is having a inbuilt flash memory of 32 megabit and you have a RAM of uh, which is internal 512 kilobyte and external 4M PS RAM. So this is what you have and also you have onboard PCB antenna for that so that you can use it for the for the communication purpose and also you have a Wi-Fi protocol over there which is IEEE 802.11b slash g slash n slash e slash i standard so this is a standard for that and also so you have inbuilt Bluetooth in that which you can use for the uh, communication purpose right so we have Bluetooth 4.2 in that which is BLE right and other than that you have Wi-Fi station so this is about that you have a security protocols for that and also you can store the images whichever you can take over there right so we have a camera so we can take a pictures from there and accordingly we can store these images into different formats what is like uh, jpg format bmp format and grayscale format so we can store the images in that format and those images will be stored inside the memory card that we will uh, attach to the ESP32 cam so this is what we can have and accordingly it supports the maximum uh, memory card of 4 GB so you can store the storage up to 4 gigabyte right and accordingly you have a peripheral interface so you can have a UART interface SPI I2C and PWM and for that you have total nine input output ports or you can say you have nine GPIO pins which you have on board on the ESP32 cam so this is what we have and also you can have a communication with the ESP32 through the uh, let's say baud rate and the by default baud rate for that is 115.00 but other than that you can select any other uh, baud rates as well so by default is 115.00 baud per second so this is what we have and uh, it can uh, let's say have an input power supply of 5 volt so you can supply 5 volt and accordingly you can get it other than that you can have a transmission power so based on the speed you can have this much right so this is the standard for that that is written over there you can see right and accordingly receiving sensitivity so receiving sensitivity is like for 1 mbps it's like minus 90 dbm and accordingly for 11 mbps it's minus 85 uh, dbm and accordingly for half bpsk it's minus 88 dbm so this is all about that and the same way we have other things as well and also power consumption is in uh, such a way if the flash is off or let's say if the flash is off it will consume 180 milliampere per 5 volt so if uh, similarly if the flash is on and the brightness is maximum then it will consume 310 milliampere of current at 
uh, five volt. Similarly, if you will put it into the deep sleep mode, and why deep sleep mode? Just because in ESP32 you have a feature to turn your uh, ESP32 into the deep sleep mode, or also you can say into the hibernation mode. So you can use that, and in that case, it will consume very less power, which is up to like six milli ampere of current, right? So it will consume that much only. And accordingly, modern sleep, so you can shift it to like twenty milli ampere, and similarly for the light sleep mode, it will consume six point milli. Ampere of current for five volts. So in this way, you can uh, like uh, see this is the power consumption for your ESP32 board which you are going to use right now. Other than that, the operating temperature for that is like within the range of minus 20 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius. So this is the range for that. So it can uh, withstand into that temperature, right? So uh, other than that, uh, you can store it into the environment like minus 40 to 90 degrees Celsius. So within this range, you can store it, but uh, the operating temperature is minus 20 to 85 degrees Celsius. So this is about it. And the last one is the dimension. So this is very compact. This is very small. So you can use it and accordingly, you can further perform whatever you want to do, right? So this is all about the specification of your ESP32 CAM. Now the next thing is let's do one thing. Let's insert the uh, micro SD. So right now I'm going to use the two gigabytes of micro SD. So I will be connecting it to my ESP32. And after that, we have to upload a code to this ESP32. So the reason is like uh, right now, if you will check in the image or let's say if you will check the ESP32 board, so there we don't have any connection or let's say we only have the GPIO pins and with the help of GPIO pins only we will be able to uh, let's say do whatever operation we want to perform either to upload the code or to perform something else. But right now we don't have any other external thing. So with the GPIO pins, it's not possible for us to directly connect to the system. So that is the reason we will have FTDI 232 which will help us to connect our ESP32 module to the system so that we can upload the code to ESP32 and accordingly we can further start the live streaming of ESP32 cam. So uh, let's see that first. All right, so now you can see we have ESP32 cam and with ESP32 cam we have attached the micro SD and accordingly we have also attached the webcam so which is of 2 megapixels so we can use that right so this is what we have done but right now you can see we only have the GPIO pins we don't have any other external interface like how we can connect it to the system to connect it to the system I will be using my FTDI 232 which is with me right now So you can see this is FTDI232 which I will be using. So I will be making a connection. I will be making a connection from FTDI232 to ESP32 cam. So it's like we are making a bridge connection in between which is going to communicate, which is helping us to communicate your ESP32 cam to your system. So this is how it is going to work. So in this way, we will be making a connection first of all in between. Now let me show you what is the connection that we have to make in between FTDI 232 and ESP32 to make a proper connection to uh, let's say upload the code to ESP32. So let's see how to make the connection. So let me show you the image for that first of all. All right. So now what you have to do is you have to make a proper connection between ESP32 cam to FTDI232. So we will be making a proper connection. So here is the uh, let's say pinout for that. Here is the uh, connections for that. So just make the connection in this way. And accordingly after that we will start uploading the code. Right. So firstly let me just make the connections as well. And after that we will continue with the things. Right. So let me first make the connections. All right, so now you can see we have made a proper connection between ESP32 CAM and FTDI232. So that now we can further connect FTDI to the system, which will help us to upload the code from the system to the ESP32. So that is all that we will be doing right now. So now we have made a proper connection over here, right? Now the next thing is let's connect the FTDI to the system, right? So for that we will have this cable right so you can see this is a cable which i will be connecting directly to my system right so that is what i will be doing right now so now let's connect it over here and after that let's start uploading the code so let's start doing it all right so now let's open arduino ide and accordingly let's start doing the further steps right so for that first of all as we are going to connect esp32 to arduino so in that case Firstly, we should have ESP32 installed on our system, right? 
and to install it i have already made one video in one of my previous sessions so i will attach the link of that video with this video so you can check this and accordingly you can further uh, install the esp32 onto your system but right now in my case i already have esp32 so you can see esp32 ardiano and accordingly you can see there is one option esp32 w rover module so we have to select this one so just select this option and once you have selected this now after that go to file go to examples and uh, after that go to esp32 then camera and camera web server so that we can uh, do the live streaming on the web server so just click on this now it will open a code for you and in here you have to make the changes the first one is that we have to select the camera model that which camera model we are going to use so currently the one which is already selected we are not using that one we are using the camera model ai thinker so we have to enable this one so uncomment this and comment this one so this is what we have done and after that now you have selected like which camera model you are using so you have selected that now the next thing is that you have to enter the ssid and password now enter the ssid and password just enter the password as well all right so this is what i have done now everything is set up now after that next thing is that you have to make some changes on to your uh, esp32 so let me show you what you have to do all right so now you can see this is esp32 cam which we have right now and here there is one led which is blinking or let's say this is uh, continuously glowing right so right now here you can see there is one pin with the name like id0 which i have connected into the ground so you can see this is yellow wire which i have connected from id0 to the ground so ground is the next pin right so i have connected it and we will upload or let's say we will just connect this pin to the ground only when we want to upload the code so this is what we have to do, do at that time only and after that now you can see the like this led is glowing continuously now at the back side if you will notice there is one button which is named as rst so just click on this Now you can see the LED is gone or let's say the LED is not glowing right now. So that means we have shifted it to the flash mode. So now the mode has been changed to flash so that we can upload the code. Now just upload the code and let's see how it works. So let me show it to you. All right, so now everything is done. Now the last step is that we have to upload the code now. We have already pressed the reset button. So to convert it to the flash mode or let's say to uh, open it in the flash mode so that we can upload the code. Now just go to this option which is upload. Just click on this. Now it will upload the code for you and after that we will be able to see that uh, whether we are able to do the live streaming or no. So let's uh, wait for it. All right, so everything is set up. Now go in here and now here you will see after connecting to the Wi-Fi, it will show you or let's say it will provide you the IP address. So we will require that one first of all. So can you see camera ready? Use this IP address to connect. So let's select this. Let's copy this and now go to the browser. Here just paste it and open it. Alright, so now you can see we have everything set up and this is the browser where we are having everything. Now here you can do one thing. You can see that there are multiple options that it is giving to you. Now you can start the streaming. So you can click on this. Now you can see this is me, right? So you can see we have established that and accordingly now what you can do next is you can select the options. For example, I want to change the resolution. So let me change it. I want to change it to the maximum. So you can see this is like a, a bit uh, good, uh, good image, right? Now we can change the rest of the options and based on that, I can get the image better. So can you see like uh, something is changed and accordingly I can change the brightness as well. For example, I want to change the brightness and accordingly I can set up rest of the things as well. Right. Other things are also there. So we are doing live streaming now, right? Now you can select the mode and accordingly you will see that everything is going to be changed, right? So special effect, you want to give the gray grayscale effect 
and you want to give the negative effect so you can see it's a negative completely and accordingly there are other options as well green tint so it's in green format sepia and many more right so in this way we can have it and also you can see at the last there is one option get still get still simply means that you are going to take a snap of it so let me do one thing let me take a snap so can you see we have the image and now this image has been stored inside the memory card now just close it from here and start the streaming again right so this is what i have done and in this way we have streamed it and also you can see there are options like color bars so you can get the color bar here similarly you can use this face detection technique so you can click on this so it is saying please select cif or lower resolution before enabling this feature because on higher resolution it will not be able to work so you can use the lower effect right so you can do use these images so let me use uh, this one let's say so in this way it is going to work right similarly further what you can do is you can have other options you can change the things and accordingly you will see that how you can get the effects so in this way we have done the live streaming right so now i hope everything is clear to you but still if you are facing any difficulties in understanding this topic feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you have liked the video do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel so till then bye bye and happy learning